Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanna go ahead and do the first impressions look at these uh, patch notes for Secret Identity. I have not read these. Uh, I have no idea what's going on, so let's get into it. All right, update notes, Secret Identity. With this week's update, you'll no longer have a Secret Identity with our profile feature. You'll have options to spice up your profile with avatars, banners, and borders, which many of which can be earned through the recently introduced Rogue Mastery system. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In addition to the player identity system, you'll note a number of balancing changes, including the retirement of Sixth Sense, SMG changes, and others. So Sixth Sense is the ability when people are looking at you, I think within 25 meters or so, it'll let you know. Um, I never really use that, but um, I believe that's re removed from three or four people. Player identity. Oh, that's cool. So it's like Call of Duty, um, I guess, stuff like that, badges, whatnot. With new player identity system, players can now customize their profile screen with a variety of options to fit their favorite rogue or play style. Collect unique rewards from each rogue mastery and display them or mix and match your favorites. Avatars. Appearing to the left of your profile, select your favorite rogue mastery reward or other. Banner, select the banner to show on the right side. Border, you can also choose a border which will appear around the banner. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, definitely some identity. I've always liked um, that Call of Duty stuff, you can create your own identity. Um, new Rogue Mastery Rewards. New Rogue Mastery Rewards are being introduced with the addition of the player identification system. At the following levels, these rewards will be seen retroactively if you've already achieved it. So two, four, and five. Okay. Close beta spray. It looks like you get uh, a spray if you have participated in the beta. So that's cool. Not really bit in, in the sprays personally or whatever. People like them. I don't. I don't dislike them. Just don't use them. Here we go. Here's the you know the meat of the issue of the patch. <laughs> Perks evade increases movement speed bonus from 10 to 12 percent, increases duration to seven to ten seconds. I like that. That's good. So a little more speedy, and it lasts longer. So I use that a lot. Six cents retired. Yeah, tracker rounds. Reveal time increase from three to four seconds. Yeah, I guess. I mean, one second's okay. <clears throat> Gadgets. Grenade base. Outer radius damage reduced from 50 to 40. I think that's good. I've always thought, you know, splash damage from uh, grenades is, is kind of big, a little too big. Inner explosion reduced 3 to 2.5 meters, reduced outer explosion radius. Yeah, so everything's kind of coming back in. Um, I like that. I think that's good. Um, yeah, grenade level 1 to 2, outer radius or damage reduced from 40 to 50. Reduced inner explosion. Yeah, so it's just being reduced across the board. Incendiary grenade. Molotov spread increased from 0.5 seconds to 0.25 seconds. This results in a Molotov dealing damage in 0.25 seconds when thrown. Fix an issue where the level 1 upgrade didn't increase the duration. Increased area at which the Molotov spreads by 20%. Oh, that's good. So Molotov... Spread increase in 0.5 to 0.25 seconds. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. A little quicker spread. I like that. C4. Max throw distance reduced from 17 to 13 meters. Oof. Level 1 upgrade throw distance reduced from 22 to 16 meters. Outer radius damage reduced from 60 to 40. Inner radius reduced from 3 and quarter to 3. Oh, man. C4 is getting nerfed hard, man. That's gonna hurt me when I play Talon and Anvil, especially. Max throw distance, oh, level one. I already thought the level one. Oh no, level one's like the first upgrade. That's that hurts, man. That throw distance was nice, but I guess it was a little far. The more I think about it, but mm. rogues, Anvil, no longer immune to EMPs and slows. Interesting. I wonder. If, mm. I wonder if that's going to be replaced by anything. I'm okay with the EMPs, but... Or, sorry. I'm okay with the slows, but the EMPs... Eh, I, don't see. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll have to find out tonight. 
Check. Ability duration increased from seven seconds to 15 seconds. Holy shit. Hmm, all right. Downed health increased to 50. I don't play track that much, but it's interesting to see. Ronin removed six cents. Okay, now has tracker rounds. <coughs> oh, I see. So people that had six cents are really getting tracker rounds. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. Ballistic knife proximity damage reduced from 125 to 100. Uh, I saw a video on Twitter about that last week. That's good. I think that's very good. Um, I, I, I thought I was a little, a little powerful, a little too powerful, maybe. Uh, removed six. A good vi. You know, not many changes. Removed six cents. Now has tracker rounds. Talon removed six cents. Tracker rounds. Fix an issue where sprint would lock the player out longer than intended. Glitch removed six cents. Now has headstrong. Okay, I don't really play glitch. Good to see. Let's look at the weapons here. Check. Increase range from eleven to twelve and a half. Increase ADS speed. Okay. Increase range on Ronin and Scorts SMG from 9.5 to 11.5. Increase ADS speed. Lancer, same thing. Increase speed, increase ADS. Uh, it looks like all the abilities, all the SMGs have increased range and ADS. And here's the salvo from Scorch. Headshot damage increased from 51 to 52, and body damage increased 33 to 34. Fall off damage, range two. No ammo. Yeah, okay. Whatever. That's the starter uh, SMG. Executioner. Okay, so all the starting pistols have have ammo now, no longer unlimited. Okay. That's fine by me. I, I don't really use it. I mean, I use them a little bit, but not so much where I've ever had an issue with running out of ammo. Um, or, sorry, using this many rounds, I don't think. But we'll find out. Quality of life in strikeout mode. Bleed will now say to activate use instead of X to bleed out on PC. The X key can now be rebound. In strikeout mode, bleed out will now say to activate use instead of X to bleed. Okay. Made a number of changes to the emote and radio wheel, which include a prompt that will now display what must be pressed to close the radio wheel. Players will now stop entirely when playing an emote. On PC, the comm wheel keys have been moved from 8 and 9 to T and X. Okay. Uh, when making a selection of the radio wheel on console, the control will rumble. That's nice. Players will now be displayed at the end of match summary if they leave the game. Okay, I, I guess you can call them out and make fun of them. Mm. Bugs. Fix an issue that sometimes cause VC players to crash and plot cross-platform custom match. I have not played any custom matches, but I can imagine that being aggravating. Fix an issue that allowed players to abuse the shoot behind cover feature. I don't know that. I don't know that exploit. Interesting. So yeah. There's my first impressions, uh, the patch notes. I can't wait to play this tonight. Um, I think the biggest ones are gonna be, um, that I'll see a difference in is the SMGs, man. Those got buffed. Uh, I already don't like going against people with SMGs because they're, they're over, I already thought they were very strong, but um, we'll see how this goes. And then also this is gonna, that's gonna be tricky. That's gonna be a change for me. Um, I used to see C4 a lot, especially as Anvil. Um, and Talon when I do play Talon. Um, I think this is a good change, the incendiary, incendiary grenade. Um, I do use that all the time on uh, Vi. Grenades, I don't use grenades too much. Um, I'm killed by them more than I use them. Um, track rounds, I think that's gonna be good too for people that lost six cents, so. So yeah, that's it. Make sure you subscribe so you can be the first to see my content when it comes to Rogue Company and, and future games I plan on uh, doing content for. So thanks for watching.